The Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources, alongside its partners, held a press conference on Wednesday to formally announce the establishment of four indigenous community reserve areas in the Central River region as well as the creation of a marine protected area at Katong. During the press conference, officials outlined the significance of these conservation efforts and their potential impact on the environment and local communities. I, on that note, Rohi John Manjang, being the Minister of Environment, Climate Change and Natural Resources, solemnly declares Katong Halayin Marine Park, Nyani Sukuta, Nyani Kayai, Jailani Bakadaji, and Jarume Koto Swamp Lands as protected in accordance with the pro uh, provision of the Biodiversity and Wildlife Act 2023, Part 3, Section 14, Establishment of Protected Areas. However, the official names of these parks will be determined in the regulation. Furthermore, I wish to declare these above mentioned areas to be protected areas for the purpose of biodiversity and wildlife conservation and sustainable use. Extending, in the same vein, I declare this area as indigenous community conserved areas, community owned and managed in strong partnership with government in recognition of the ownership rights of the communities and indigenous people traditionally settled in this area in accordance to the law. At the press conference, government officials stressed the collaborative effort involved in creating these conservation areas, emphasizing the participation of local communities, traditional authorities and stakeholders in decision-making process. The ministry emphasized the significance of community engagement and empowerment in the sustainable management of natural resources, acknowledging the valuable contribution of indigenous knowledge and practices to conservation and Davis. 200,000 forest cover supposed to be handed over to the communities. So which means now the ICCA that the minister just declared is a trend or is, I mean, uh, is a trajectory moving towards I mean, uh, that policy objective. But not only as um, I mean, uh, an indigenous I mean, uh, conservation area, but as well as community forest area. Because the Jeff Six also is targeting the community forest areas that is, I mean, uh, supposed to be handed over, you know, legally to the communities, whereby all the management, I mean, the responsibilities of either the Department of Forestry or the Department of Parks and Wildlife is handed over to the to the communities. These zones will function as protected areas overseen and governed by indigenous communities in the locality, aiming to conserve biodiversity, encourage sustainable resource management, and uphold traditional knowledge and practices. I'm happy to see that uh, the management is being transferred to the communities. We have been doing this without considering the communities. But now we know that for sustainability, the communities have to be involved. So that is why now we're not only talking about public-private partnerships, but we are now talking about community, public, private partnerships. So that at least the management is taken over by the communities because we must remember they are the custodians of those areas. Jeff 6 is a project in the Gambia aimed at planning and restoring land seascape to enhance ecosystem services, livelihoods and the expansion and efficient management of protected areas. Usman Ture, the project coordinator, shares his insights. Presently, we don't want them to do uh, sand, sand mining, so that's why we brought this idea of having a marine protected area in the area whereby we will uh, push them to protect the area but also to uh, embark on activities that are lucrative for the communities which are not uh, sand mining but ecotourism program development, uh, beekeeping program that we are doing there, uh, uh, mariculture and all these other fish uh, aquaculture that we are, we, are, we are planning to do with them so that at least yeah so that at least we can improve uh, livelihood initiative and discourage them in this uh, sand mining issue. 
The Deputy National Director of the National Environment Agency, Jagature, outlines some of the accomplishments achieved through the Jeff project. Now, what the project has done is to give them some alternative livelihood options, such as gardening, you know, providing them with boreholes, beekeeping, different types of training. And the project has also even selected a few community members, sent them to Kenya so that they can learn how conservation is done there. The creation of the Marine Protected Area in Katong marks a pivotal advance in safeguarding marine ecosystems and coastal regions. The endeavor is in harmony and global endeavors to safeguard crucial marine habitats and species, while also bolstering the livelihoods of local fishing communities and fostering ecotourism prospects. The establishment of indigenous community conserve areas in the Central River region and the Marine Protected Area in Katong symbolize a significant achievement in the Gambia's conservation endeavors. These initiatives demonstrate a proactive stance towards environmental stewardship, sustainable growth, and the preservation of cultural heritage, heralding a promising trajectory for the safeguarding and management of natural resources in the nation. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Bubagajigo.